Hey, this is Lee from Tillman, and today we're looking at the Epson TMT82 version 2 printer. This is an excellent little network printer, about $100 cheaper than the Star equivalent, so worth getting if you're using POSBOSS. When you get it out of the box, get it unpacked, there's three cables that you need to plug in. So if we look at the underneath here, you'll see you've got a network connection as your first one you want to plug in. It's not a Wi-Fi printer, it does need an Ethernet cable going to your modem. So we'll plug that one in there. The other one you need is the cash draw connection. Now often these plug into here on the Epsons, this one doesn't. It plugs into this connector here. So we'll plug that in there. The other one you need is the connection for the power. Now on the stars the power supply is built in, you have one of these plugs. On the Epson it's a separate power supply box, so it's one of these square boxes. And you'll find that's included in the box with the printer. Plug that one into here. Turn the printer over. You'll need to put some paper in it. Push this lever back and the lid pops up. So 80mm paper rolls, same as the star, the large size paper rolls. Close the lid. Now what you're going to want to do is hold the feed key down Keep the feed key held down while you turn the power switch on on the front. What that will do is do a self test print. And that has a bunch of information about the settings that are in the machine. You shouldn't need to change those settings. Press the feed key again. And it will print a little self test there to make sure that everything's working like it should be. Now give it a little bit of time. And then it'll connect to the network and we'll print out another little receipt with your network connections. So if we give it a moment while it gets connected to the network modem. And there we go. What you're looking for is the IP address on the top there. You want that to be a number. If it's zeros then it hasn't got a connection through to the modem. But if you've got numbers in there up the top line for the IP address, that's a good sign. That means you're connected. Okay, from there we look at POSBOSS. We just need to connect it up into POSBOSS. So we'll shuffle this over a little bit. Get our iPad up on here where you can see it. Turn our iPad on. Log in. Open up POSBOSS. Let that get loaded. We're just going to do a demo, try a demo now. That just loads some basic things in there. You can download POSBOSS and use this demo to make sure it works how you want to. Excellent little hospitality system made right here in New Zealand. We'll get started. Now for the printer we need to click on your settings, those lines up the top. Go into printers. We want to add a printer. Printer 1. We're going to make that printer active. And here is where we select the printer. So hit that there, and then you can choose the printer. Epson TMT82 2 Ethernet. And then you're going to go search for printers. And what that does is it searches the network to see if it can find one of those printers on your network. So you need to make sure that your iPad is connected to the same Wi-Fi as this is plugged into. There it is right there. We're just going to hit that. And that sets up for our printer there. We'll turn it on to print receipts because we want that to happen. It has got a cash drawer so we need to turn that on. And this one's going to print our end of day summary to tell us what we've got so we can balance at the end of the day. You want to see it's working so we'll press the test print down here. We don't need to tell them about the business for now. And we're going to go open cash drawer just to check that the cash drawer opens. Perfect. So our printers are working. It's going through to there. If we want to go one step further, we can go into the setup for the sections here. And this is where we set up what we want it to print for the kitchen docket printing. So we're going to say this one's going to be doing our barista printing. So we want it to have all the beverages set on. And it's also going to be printing out a docket for our cabinet food. We've got a separate kitchen docket printer, so we've got another one of these in the kitchen. So we're going to leave those out and on our next printer we'll set it to print those kitchen areas. We're going to close that off. Let's try a test sale. So we're buying a latte. 
and it's a decaf and we're adding hazelnut we're going to add that to our sale you see it comes up here customer wants to pay you press pay we do want it to print the order for the barista to know what to make so we press print order and that prints out our barista docket nice large font so you can see what needs to be made for the customer and it gives us an order number as a reference date and time when it was ordered they're paying by cash we do want it to print a receipt so we press print receipt prints the receipt opens the drawer into the camera and you'll see there how our customer receipt looks Excellent. If you've got any questions regarding point of sale hardware, any questions about POSBOSS, POSBOSS has got its own excellent support so you can speak to them directly if it's in regard to the software, but any questions regarding hardware or anything I can help with, just get back in touch with us. Cool. Thank you.